Hello and welcome to my course uh, Video Maker FX Training. Um, the first thing you are going to see in uh, when you open Video Maker FX, this is the dashboard for it. Uh, from the left up here, you can create project. You can open a project you already have. Uh, you can save the project from here. And if you already saved uh, a project and you'd like to make a copy from it to edit just a little bit of the slides to make a different video, you can save as. Uh, this is from here the audio settings uh, where we can add a music to the video or a voiceover for the whole video. We can preview from here and export the final video from here. On the right, you have the help and support center. Uh, you can check your license from here and uh, the uh, about information about the uh, video maker FX. The license for each uh, video maker FX program is for two computers, which is very nice. So if you have uh, a main computer at home and you have uh, a laptop, you can put it on both of them. So whenever you are home, you can work on a project. If you're out, you can take the project. Uh, and put it on your laptop and continue working on it. So this is the uh, whole uh, dashboard for uh, the Video Maker FX and in the next video I will start to create a video. So now to the first step, create project. <clears throat> Once you create project you give it a name, testing, and create project. From here now we will add slides. As you can see down here the total time of the project is zero seconds because we still we didn't add any slides. So we now add slides. On the left here you can find uh, slide themes. Each themes contains uh, different slides. This is the slide layout and the slide preview and description for it. Uh, if you buy themes from uh, Video Maker FX website, you can install it from uh, a zip file. Just uh, install slide uh, zip file. You can just locate it and open. It will be installed in the slide themes here. Um, so now we just, uh, if we click on uh, this uh, slide theme, it will open three slides. Just uh, click on the first one, large uh, image only. Uh, this is how it's supposed to look like. When you add an image, it will take a full screen. Uh, and uh, from here, uh, a large text box and a headline, a heading. Uh, also, you have a full background image with two kind of uh, text. And the final slide in this theme is large text box. Uh, background image with uh, a full screen uh, text box. You, sh you just only have one text area, not more than one. So if you like just this slide, you can add only the slide from here. But if you like the whole theme, you can just add all slides. Uh, and here you have a whiteboard uh, theme. You can uh, write a text and it will be like handwriting within 10 seconds and 6 seconds, 8 seconds. Uh, you can place an image with the hand, the image with border or with no border, and a place text by hand. Uh, let's see, we have this uh, theme, character Anna. It has seven slides or eight, as you can see, like this. So if you like the theme, you can, as I said, add a slide or add all. So let's just add all slides. The good thing about uh, this kind of themes, it's ready. It has all the animation, all the effects, all the characters. So all you need to do is just simply add your information, your website, your Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube. Uh, you can uh, change the texts here about, uh, make it about your product. You can add um, images for your product. You can add your logo. 
so it's uh, it just in simple one to three steps it's ready and you can just uh, um, uh, export the, the video it's not gonna take more than half an hour maximum to finish it so we will go now to the first slide and see how it's work let's just pause from here uh, each slide has a duration under it this one is 13 and a half seconds you can remove it from here or you can duplicate it from here down here the total time of the project is 80.3 seconds so more than a minute just a little bit and um, you can you can reorganize the order of the uh, slides from here like this you can reorder it or you can remove the slides I post the slide uh, here because when I want to uh, edit the texts I would like the image to be stable so I can see the uh, effects um, the changes I'm making immediately so once now I paused this whole box the editing box of the slide I will talk about it in the next video so now to the editing box the first thing is the text this slide has six type of texts text area number one is meet Anna she loves traveling uh, number five and six will continue in the slide but now I paused so I can see the changes I make here some of the text slides allow you to change the font of the um, the font of the text and the uh, the size some doesn't just uh, take it as it is the same font the same size and you might change the color so when you're making a video try to choose uh, one more uh, flexible so you don't get stuck so now I uh, just choose another font and make this one a little bit bigger I can change the horizontal and the vertical align from here make it right left keep it center like this and the color of the text also I can change it I can make it more transparent or not and I can make an effect on this text like this uh, let's see now um, I want to move the text but not in this type of movement uh, up down center and stuff like this I need to move more freely so I will check this box movement enable and I can change it like this if I want it to be like this in here or in here if I want to go back I will just press the R and it will go back as it was uh, let's go to Anna make sure that when you choose a, um, a font uh, make the whole video with the same font or just choose uh, two types of font font for the uh, head uh, heading and font for the subheading if you have a text choose a third font for the text but try to stick only to those three because it's gonna be much more perfect uh, it's gonna be more smooth and uh, and professional so this one is open sense regular um, I want Anna to be in different kind so this is my second font and a little bit big for Anna enable movement as you can see I moved it but because it's so big it's got cut from down so I just need to make it a little bit smaller so it shows all of it perfect and give it the same effect 
so now I learned how to edit the uh, the text effects from here each slide uh, I can um, add some more seconds to it I can delay the same uh, the slides itself for a second or two or ten or twenty as much as I want I can delay the slide itself so the duration while it's moving it's a little bit longer and I can delay the end so uh, for example if uh, I have a, a slide with a lot of text in it and I want the readers to get more time to read it carefully I just add more seconds to the end so it doesn't disappear quickly so I can work with the seconds in here and as you can see I added now six seconds to the main slide and now it's changed and the total project seconds changed uh, the final step in here it's going to be the background effects uh, we have different kind of background effect as you can see it's 24 background effect actually you can choose whether you want a background effect choose it from here if you don't want so it's okay that's kind of nice if you want to go back to the beginning just click zero and you're back so the second step is uh, to add an image but I want to continue the uh, the text the change of it and make it a little bit bigger move it traveling okay the color also is good I don't need to change it okay now I want to see the uh, number five and six so I'm just gonna go click play okay but she is unhappy okay make it a little bit bigger and unhappy actually this one and I'm happy is yeah as I said make sure it doesn't get cut from down and we'll just make the effect So now if I click play to see the whole uh, slide again, meet Anna, she loves traveling but she is unhappy. So now I'm done with this slide, I'm just gonna remove all the delay, I don't need it. I want to go to a slide where I can edit a background image and add an image so I will go to this logo slide you can add a text in here let's just write hi that's it pause okay didn't pause now pause change the font and make it a little bit bigger but for me I don't want to add uh, a text in here because I want to add a logo so we're just gonna delete it and go to images you have two type of image image area one is the one it's supposed to show in here and the background image for the background image you can choose from the gallery offered by video maker FX or you can browse um, a file from your own computer so if I browse the file um, let me just see this one and I can make it transparent and make it normal actually I can play in it as much as I want and choose uh, image area 
choose a logo so browse now i'm gonna put my logo and you can make it a little bit bigger if you would like from here or from here smaller bigger okay and a little bit smaller and let's just drag it down a little bit so it shows completely so this is how i add image i can also make this one transparent or not so now i added the images and i know how to edit uh, a text how to uh, choose from uh, the gallery how to adjust the uh, image uh, the background image as you can see you can scale it from here but you can change the size from here as i showed you before and if you don't like your change you just press r and everything will go back to the way it was uh, the background effect as i said before for each slide you can choose a different background uh, for each slide you can choose whether to delay the slide itself or delay the end in the next video i will talk about the shapes and the animation thank you for watching so if we go back to slide number one and click pause uh, now we go to shapes as you can see here it shows that you have only two shapes in this in this slide uh, the background shape you can enable it or not and the number one shape here which is this one you can change the color of the shape from here okay sometimes you have a glitch in the program which what i'm facing right now so i think yeah <laughs> you need to choose another color different than black before you change anything else so it shows so now as you can see i changed the color i can also i can also make the shape a little bit bigger if i want if i hate what i did i can just click r and i go back to the normal size and i change the color to a different one if i would like make it more feminine or make it uh, more bold as i would like to make it I choose the color for uh, the theme I'm working on. As I said before, the background effect for each slide can be changed and the delay uh, for the slide and the end can be uh, done for each slide. Now for the animation. This uh, slide um, offer only one type of animation. Some slides offer two types of animations. Uh, some other slides have no animation at all but this one have only uh, the number one animation which is you if you are making um, let's say making a YouTube uh, video and you would like people to subscribe so it's uh, this one it's a nice one you can also change the the place for it move it a little bit up a little bit to the side it's like i'm pointing to anna this is anna okay but if i have a subscription button i can add it and make this uh, arrow point for it so you subscribe here uh, there are many different types of the uh, animation you can choose from it it's only ten, nine in this one so it's mainly useful if you are making uh, a youtube uh, video and you would like people to subscribe so the previous video cover the text the uh, image and the shape and the animation this final button is for video and voiceover uh, there are special uh, slides for video which you can add a ready video 
with the sounds and everything added inside this video but it's not uh, it's not working for this slide uh, it has a specific slides for it what you can do is you can record voiceover for this slide uh, so let's see uh, I if I just let's cancel this animation because it's very annoying okay I did cancel this yeah it's on and I go back to recording and press play now I can press record Okay, record. Meet Anna. She loves traveling, but she is unhappy. And then stop. Record complete. Now, when I preview this project from here, it's uh, this, uh, this slide will have a voiceover for it. If I hate what I did or I want to do it, I do over, just press clear and you're back where you started. Uh, as for the video slide, I'm just going to scroll to the back and add slide. If you scroll down here, you will find a specific uh, theme for videos. Uh, when you add a video, make sure that you know the exact durations for the video by seconds. So if you have uh, an intro for your logo or an outro for uh, your logo, you know exactly uh, the duration with seconds. So you can add a video by these seconds or you can just add uh, this uh, slide, a uh, delayable video clip. Add it from here. It's ready for four seconds. But if your video is more than this, as I told you before, you can just delay the slides a little bit from here so we will go to this button video and background video from here browse file uh, go to your file see where did you put it um, yep intro And it's done of course it's fade quickly for four seconds but in the final video when um, you uh, render it when you export it uh, you can watch it the you can watch the full video with no problems again you can add the uh, sound from the video you can if you check this box and the intro has a, a sound it will show in here if you don't want the audio to be shown, just remove this, uh, this check button. Um, this, is, uh, this is pretty much it for this uh, editing uh, dashboard for each slide. And uh, now in the next video, I will just preview these three final steps. And that will be it. So now that I finished editing my video, I can just add the audio settings from here. If I have a ready file for voiceover, I can just add it from uh, this uh, track or I can record it from this track. And um, from this one, I can enable music. Video Maker FX uh, offers you uh, some different kind of uh, ready. Uh, music for the uh, videos or you can browse your own from here the first and important thing about audio you need to be careful about is the duration for the audio you choose make sure that it's more than the full duration of your um, of your uh, project because you don't want the, uh, the sound at the end to be uh, cut you know, just the movie keep uh, the project keep going and there's no music. It's not gonna be uh, perfect or professional. So you need to pick music that cover the whole video. 
and from here you can uh, adjust the volume of the audio and the fade in fade out for the audio once you're uh, ready and you like what you uh, the sound you choose just click apply of course the step right before the final would be preview the project once you click preview preview project uh, you can see your whole project with the sounds you add, with the effect you put. You can just see it all until the end, and so you make sure that uh, there's no glitch in it. Uh, audio, as you can see, there's um, a notification down here that audio fade in out effect do not reflect in this preview and will apply on the export only. So if you cannot hear the uh, effects uh, the fade in and fade out don't freak out uh, because it's totally normal but you can hear it in the final project so as you can see here this theme we choose it has everything it has the animation it has the color the image and the pulled in text if you have a product you can put a picture for it in here I'm just gonna let you watch it till the end, of course, without music or anything, but it's okay, you get it. Um, now Anna is happy. The bolt ends one and two and three. And the outro, your company name, your website, your slogan, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And now the video I put at the end the outro and it's done you can replay from here or if you found out that you need to edit something you can just go back and edit from here so for example this one about the text and the bolt ends I just want to show you something quickly okay pause we have four different type of bolt ends. We can change, like I said, change it like this. Change the font, make it all, make it look like each other. And change the size, image, shape, the background shape. You can only change the background shape. You cannot change the uh, check box in here and also it has one animation I need to show you the one with more than one animation but doesn't show in here okay I'm gonna choose another different slide that shows the um, the different type of animation I was talking about okay add slide haha <laughs> this is animation number one as I told you this one was number two, but of course, because it was number one in there. But this one, you can choose an animation. It's so sweet, actually. It has so many different type. See, if we make it a little bit darker, the background, you can actually see. See the animation? It's uh, falling arrows. Keep browsing for the animation and the uh, background effect. Do what makes you feel like, you know, this video is perfect for you. Each person has uh, a different type of uh, likes and dislikes and perfections for color. Uh, so once you're ready and everything ready, make sure that while you're working, you're saving your project. Because if uh, anything happened uh, to your computer, you don't want to cry your heart out when you find that all your work is gone so make sure that you save and if you like this project but you need to edit a little bit in it in a different kind of project as i said you can just save as give it any another name testing two okay you can now you are working on testing two not test one so if you change like this and you save 
this is a whole new project with a whole new time and effects and you can work on it so now you're done everything is ready for you go to the final step export video once you click export you have the place for the video where you're going to find it uh, you can put it in another folder browse from here you have the size for it the perfect and the maximum size is uh, 720 HD and you can make it lower if you would like the quality choose what which quality you would like make it perfect and start export video if you want to cancel you can cancel from here or you can open the, the video folder from here so you can see where it's going to be when you're done let's start export the video Video Maker effects actually helped me a lot in my 